mental health is a really it's a really dear subject uh, to my heart for many reasons uh, i've had my own struggles with certain mental health issues i have in the couple in the last couple of years opened up um, and spoken about it on public platforms the kind of responses and and warmth and love that i get from people who are following me on social media platforms is absolutely overwhelming and it really makes me feel like i was never alone especially not now and i wanted to be able to give that same feeling to as many people as possible because i remember when as a young adult i started to feel things that i knew weren't normal um i knew that i wanted to feel differently but i had no idea how to address these issues i was very fortunate to be able to find the right people to help me deal with them deal with those issues uh, and deal with everything that was going on in my heart and in my mind and today i'm in a much 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 better place and i have the tools to help me cope with any of the stress anxiety and depression that i had um and thus i want to be able to just bring people together and talk about it because i feel like in our society and in society it's not just ours it's it's around the world there's such a stigma against it's a, it's it's taboo you know to say that you are mentally ill you can say you're physically ill that's almost fine people will rush you to a doctor but the minute you say you're mentally ill it's almost like walk it off you know go out for a movie with your friends and i don't think that's the necessarily the right thing to do so today we're going to we work it's mental health day it's the 10th of october and i launched my own mental health awareness initiative with my dearest friend and partner chetna chakravarti who's an alternative therapy healer and a life coach it's called mind it so sarah and i have known each other for a while now um our journey started off as coach and client um and and well it quickly moved into friendship um a very strong bond you know in the times that we are living in right now mental health is no longer just about illness it is not just about somebody who is battling depression or battling uh, or is being diagnosed as bipolar um or with any other medical issue today for us mental health is well at least for me it is about wellness it is about how well we are using um our minds to live our fullest potential mind it for sarah and me was about creating a space um a space where you could come and talk about what you were going through up here well it was about sarah and me giving back it was about sarah and me realizing that what she was going through or had gone through uh there were so many people out there going through it and as a coach and a healer i realized that yes there is a stigma towards mental health um which is from the outside which is about being judged by people and society but there is also a very loud noise of judgment within our own beings that doesn't allow us to accept that we're struggling Thank you very much for taking the time to come across as you know it's world mental health day I'd like to just invite you to join us in a short meditation you don't need to move anywhere um I will just do a little bit of breath work with everybody and then Chetna will just guide us through um, a short meditation yeah yeah we, should yeah, we do that yeah. now we can do that now a deep breath in and what you're trying to do is you're trying to move your hand forward by taking that deep breath in and what you'll notice is that actually this is happening your chest is rising so now might be a good time if you're comfortable to just close your eyes i will close my eyes too and leave your hand there and take a breath in and breathe out through your mouth 
if you reject an emotion if you resist an emotion if you are not willing to sit in any kind of discomfort there is no growth feel nervous you spoke up despite feeling nervous and look what happened right so now the next time you place a cue saying that you know what that day when i was feeling nervous i still spoke up and this happened what's the worst that will happen today they won't answer okay you placed a cue so nervous is good we don't talk about what we are going through with anybody 100% even if people who come to me nobody is telling me 100% of the story we're not able to even i can right so at best you will tell somebody 90% of the story but when it is paper and pen and you alone you can write what you want you're burning it so no one's reading it which means it's a space of complete confidence and you can actually bring out 100% So if you want to empty out heavy emotions or even work related you know where you feel that something is not working for you at work and you're constantly failing or it's not moving fast enough and it's frustrating you it's making you impatient write it and burn it I'm Satinder Kaur I am a banker by profession but currently I am a consultant who does organization design uh the session was very uh, useful because one is that it uh, it tries to bring about this point that there is nothing wrong with people it's everything uh, which is there it requires a kind of direction so that was uh, the session was conducted in a very nice way in a very simple way and the best thing about it is that we are negative by default and the positive has to be actually practiced and uh, put to use This was one of the best takeaways that I got from here. Thanks. Hi guys, my name is Disha Thakkar, and uh, the four sessions were really helpful. Uh, especially, I would say that one session which uh, helped me a lot that was uh, we had to choose one thoughts, and uh, we just wanted to bury that thoughts, and it was a really helpful. activity which was given by chetna hi i am rishab i am uh, i am currently a student i am studying in uh, rizvi college i am i am in my 12th standard and i uh, got to know about this event minded on a instagram post and i have to say it's a brilliant event like it's it's such good like when i went to the event i was feeling really good like they they gave some exercises to do they gave some good speeches and stuff which like really helped me and i'm going to use such exercises for my uh, future also i was really uh, comfortable like when i was uh, when i was sitting there i was hearing that was really comfortable and i was like uh, it's going to be good for my future and yes that's it so everyone who's watching this video do come for minded whenever it would happen hi i'm jinal and uh, i had a session with uh, jetna and uh, sara uh, in an indian associates it was really nice it was really soothing it made me calm stress relieves are now a little bit less it's good it was a good calm amazing experience hi guys i'm pooja uh, today's session was very helpful and it was very Like relaxing in this busy, stressful life, it was like very good to meditate. And regarding the public speaking, it was very helpful for us. Thank you. Hi, my name is Sindhi. Um, I have I really enjoyed all the session, and uh, I was very happy that uh, this uh, the session was conducted because it uh, really helped me to be positive. to engage more confidence that i was getting hi my name is shashi and uh, i get my time out for this event that was for minded uh, i had a great time uh, first of all uh, when i was going through the event i thought that 90% of the stuff that they were telling me i already knew about it but there's always more to learn there's always a different method to learn from and i'm very happy that i'm taking something away from this event Anxiety seems to be the new diabetes. Isn't it time then that we start thinking about mental wellness so that we can prevent mental illness? Mental health matters. Mental illness can and does claim lives every single day. It's time we helped eliminate the taboo about mental illness and spoke more freely about mental wellness so that we can move towards a more joyous world where every soul can be saved